my name is Amanda and welcome to my January favourites. So the first favourite that I'm going to share with you is one that has actually kind of taken me by surprise. I never ever thought that I would like this person or be into their music. It is an album that I am talking about and it is Taylor Swift's 1989 album. Ta-da! I bought this album at the start of the month because I was sort of in that rut where I was desperate for some new music on my iTunes list. So I think it was that same morning that I actually heard, I think it was Blank Space, on either the radio or the TV or something. And I really, really liked it and I also liked the Shake It Off song as well. So I thought I would give it a go and see what it was like and I absolutely love it. It's been quite a while since I've found and listened to an album that I absolutely love every single song and it's an album that you just sort of want to play over and over and over and over and over again and then do it the next day and then the next day and then the next day. I don't know, there's just something about this album where everything is just so catchy and well written and I suppose because I've really liked the album I've sort of been a lot more aware of the things that Taylor Swift does for her fans and just how cool she is. Um, I don't know, is that really weird for me to say? I don't know. But I think she's a pretty cool person. And I really admire the way that she looks after her fans. And, you know, she is actually genuinely talented. So please tell me if you have also loved this album, if you got it. And that you are a fan of Taylor Swift. And are quite surprised by just how good and talented she is. Yeah. <laughs> My next favourite is something that I've actually been using for a little over a year now. And it's only the last couple of weeks that I've sort of realised that I really really like it um, and that is Tumblr. I have no idea what has happened to make me like being on Tumblr so much as I have but I've just come across some really quite cool stuff on there and you know it's quite fun to sort of sit on there and procrastinate and waste time as you really shouldn't do but I do. But even though that I've been loving Tumblr this month Pinterest will always be my number one. So of course right now I'm going to give myself a shameless plug. If you're on Tumblr and you want to follow me, there is a link down in the description box that you can go and follow me and we can be Tumblr friends. Yay! My next favourite up is something that I've also had for quite a long time and it's only this month that I've sort of really got into it and really really loved it. And that is my Nintendo DS. Now I bought this back in 2006-2007 and the game that I have been playing is Yoshi Island DS. I got this game for my 21st birthday from one of my friends and at the time I didn't really quite get it. I couldn't get into it so I never played it. Sorry. So when I rediscovered my DS this month, I put this game in just to see what it was all about. Maybe I could get into it. And I have. I absolutely love it. It is so frustrating. It's really, really hard. I mean, maybe I'm just a really bad gamer. But I'm struggling and I'm on level 4 at the moment and I'm sort of in the middle boss house. Like there's a boss house in the middle and the boss house at the end. And so at the moment I'm sort of midway through level 4 and it is so hard. I keep dying. So yeah, I think I'm just really rubbish at the game to be honest. But in saying that, I'm really really enjoying it and I am determined to finish it. Yes. So moving on to a few things that are a little bit different to what I've just been chatting about and they are some beauty favourites. Yeah. The first of my beauty favourites from this month is our eyelash curler. This one is by Revlon. I don't know any other details than that because I threw the packet away before realizing that I really really love it so it's from Revlon and the reason why I have been loving this is because the old pair that I had were like really cheap ones and after using these ones which I spent a little bit more on I realized that they were really 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 horrible and these ones are so good I found with my old pair of curlers that if I had it at a weird angle it'd pinch like the skin on my eyes and it really really hurt with these ones it doesn't do it it's so like cushiony and it's just so much better I don't know how to really describe it I've also found that they really curl my lashes a lot better than my old ones I have really really stubborn eyelashes especially with my left eye they just seem to just not want to do anything but these have really really helped and they also spread my lashes so nicely and that just looks really nice 
My other beauty favourite from this month is this face cream. It is by Boots Laboratories. It is called Optiva, I think. And it is an aqua capture serum and it claims to give you healthier looking skin in just two weeks. I've been using this since before Christmas and I wanted to really give it a go to see if it really worked and it does. I have definitely found a big difference in how smooth my skin is. It looks so much more healthier. I haven't had hardly any breakouts. It has really made a huge difference and I'm so sad because I'm coming to the end of this tube. I technically didn't buy this. I got it through uh, my Bella box which is just like a beauty box that comes through the mail with like samples and things like that. So I'm not particularly sure where and if I can buy more of this in Australia because we actually don't have boots in Australia which really really sucks. So I think I'm going to have to go and hunt for more of this because it's so good. My next favourite up is again another thing that I've had for a couple of months now and it's only in the last month or so that I've been using it and really really loving it and it is my Fitbit, no Fit Flex Bit. It's this thing on my wrist. I don't know what it's called. I'll have the right name down in the description box below. But it's one of those wristbands that measures like your steps and your calories and all that stuff throughout the day. And of course, pretty much just like everyone, I made a resolution at the start of the year to try and move more and get healthy and be fit and all that sort of stuff. Of course, I'm still motivated to do that, but it's really in small steps that we'll get there. So I've put this on my wrist to help me keep motivated and to be aware of how much I move every day and to also help me with my present and future goals in becoming just that little bit more healthy. So there we have it. That is all that I have for my January favourites. Let me know of any favourites that you have been loving this month and don't forget to tell me whether it's cool or not to like Taylor Swift. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you sometime very, very soon. Bye!